Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, March 4th to the 5th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, in North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. King of Cups, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscriptions. Ooh, the Death card. Please note that energy and time are fluid, the chariots. So feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. The Page of Wands. I'm going to get a message from Spirit before we begin here, okay? And if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Collaborate with others, Pisces. This is going to open up your creativity by doing this, by, um, by collaborating. Because it's, uh, they're showing me like conversations that you're having with somebody, right? And like it's this passionate discussion and what you say triggers an idea in them and then what they say triggers an idea in you and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's just th th this, you know, plethora of, of creative ideas that emerge from this collaboration that would never have emerged from this, um, from either of you had you not come together as a team, right? Okay, I'm asking about love, and they said look to the cards. So, I shall look to the cards. So let's see here. You got the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This talks about choosing what you want to invest your time in, Pisces. What is it that you want to invest your time in? Hmm? And this is talking about being patient, okay, for the fruits of your labor to emerge, right? Now with the King of Cups here, okay, is this King of King of Cups then? All right, this King of Cups is youth. I feel like uh, a lot of you Pisces are have been going through a lot of transformation. Some of you could be moving due to this transformation. You're seeking adventure. That's what I'm feeling. You're seeking adventure, and it's like you want to move ahead. You're taking the reins of your own life, and you're like, fuck it. I'm going. I'm going. The death card, you know, rising from the ashes, it's like you need this. It's almost, it's a necessity for you. That's what I'm feeling. It's a necessity, Pisces. And that's what I'm feeling with everybody. It's everybody's being moved to different locations on the map. It's crazy. Okay. You may have just ended something as well so that you can begin another. Now, it could be a relationship that you ended. It could be a job that you ended. It just could be a way of being that you ended. You're recreating yourself, right? Tell me about the King of Cups here for Pisces. What's on your mind, Pisces? What's on your mind? Ooh, yeah. See, this is an ending that I just, that's what they just said. Ten of Swords, ending something to begin something new. I do feel you're healing from this and you're, you're, if not already healed, you have experienced betrayal, backstabbing in the past, but I feel that you've taken these lessons from that, 
And you're like, well, you know, you can't change what happened. So why don't I seek the lesson, the blessing in the lesson, right? Yeah, six of cups. This is somebody from the past that hurt you. Could have been a childhood sweetheart. It could have been um, even a soulmate. Well, it was a soulmate. Soulmate from a past life. But remember, you probably contracted with each other for this to occur. And because it's aiding in your growth. Look at where you are now. You wouldn't be where you are now. Had not it been for this hurt. Truly. So be thankful. For anybody that stabs you in the back, really, be thankful. Send them a thank you card. Because truly, yep, see? Eight of wands, passionate. And that's also distance. Two of swords, you're, you're becoming less indecisive as time goes by. Now you've got the eight of wands and the chariot. You could be getting love messages from afar from somebody at a distance. You could be going to the somebody at a distance. But if you are moving to where they are, I don't feel it's because of love. I just feel like you're like, yeah, I think I belong there. Now, not because of this person. I just think it's really the geographical location, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Two of uh, swords here. Yeah. He... Say that again. I once was blind, but now I see. Oh, James. Okay. All right. I have a guide named James, and James was a slave to the Native Americans. Um, and I didn't even know Native Americans um, had slaves. I don't know. I guess I never thought of the Native Americans having slaves. I don't know. Until James. So James, um, whenever he comes to me, he always... He usually sings um, a song, like um, uh, slave songs, right? So Amazing Grace, I believe, was a slave song. Because whenever he gives me a song, I'll look it up. And I'll, this is how I figured out that they were all slave songs. Beautiful music, right? And he's got this beautiful voice, this deep voice. Um but he snuck his way in just now. He doesn't show up in everybody's reading, but he's showing up in yours. So he said, you once were blind, but now you see. So there's something that you opened your eyes to, Pisces. And because you're opening your eyes to this, it's all opening up. It's like your world is just opening up. It's almost like... Like... Uh, the internet. You know how when the internet was created and we can talk to people from all over the world, right? It's, it like opens up our world and the world becomes smaller in a sense. First it's bigger and then it's, it's smaller because you're able to communicate. It's sort of like that. And I just saw something. Is that you, James? Okay. There was a little, um, there was a little, uh, oh, there it was again. I gotta rewind this. Okay, now my crown chakra is coming. <laughs> you gotta rewind this. What is that? 846 right now? So between 830 and them, there's like this little, and this happens every now and again. If it's not an orb, it's this little, it almost looks like smoke. White smoke. I'm gonna call it smoke because I don't know what else to call it. And it was right in front of my face, and then it was right over there. I'm gonna have to rewind it to see it. Rewind it. If you see it, comment below. Um... Okay. Is there a message with that, James? Is that a slave song? Go tell it on the mountain. That's what he's singing now. Go tell it on the mountain. All right, now I gotta look up these lyrics. I don't think he's ever given me this one before. Um, but it's a message for you, because that smoke meant he had another message. Yeah, so 
like I was saying, with the internet, it opened up our world, right? And now you see, now you see, and because you see, it opens up a whole world of this, these awesome manifestations that are going to come your way. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Thank you, James. Okay. All right. So page of wands is clarified by the eight of pentacles. Yeah, that's work. You could be moving for work, something you're passionate about. Okay, you're seeing that something you're passionate about is leading you in a particular direction. And you're following that. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah, you're putting down burdens and you're seeking freedom. Yep, you're letting go of anger. You're letting go of all lower negative energy to go out and seek adventure and seek freedom. Okay, clarify the death card, nine of swords. Ah, some of you, okay, for some of you, you experienced anxiety. Feeling a lot of anxiety, fear previously, but I feel like you've transformed that. Now, that's not to say that this doesn't, anxiety doesn't creep in. Hell, I have anxiety, right? But not nearly as much as before. Actually, it's gotten less and less and less and less as time goes on. And because you're more aware of it, you sort of have coping skills, um, like healthy coping skills, that you utilize that will help you get out of this energy. And I believe that's what you found because you're transforming here. You're rising from the ashes. You're becoming uh, you're becoming like the version that you're supposed to be, the ver your highest version of yourself. It's like that's that's your goal. That's what you're seeking to become, your authentic self, whatever that is for you, right? Okay, what advice do you have for Pisces? What advice do you have for Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune the seven of wands and the two of wands. Yeah. Don't um, continue to keep making decisions. Okay. <clears throat> because now you see, you know, what direction you want to go in. You know what you need to leave behind. You know, what's going to be, you know, which fate train to jump on and you're learning what your boundaries are, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Um, you're also learning because some of you may have been a little uh, paranoid maybe in the past, like shit is just coming at you. You've learned to loosen that up and this all stems from this anxiety, right? So you're, you're really coming to terms with the mental mindfuckery that you've been experiencing possibly for years, right? And you're getting a handle on it. And because you're getting a handle on all these things and becoming balanced like the chariot here and taking the reins of your life and moving forward, you are going to experience so much luck. So much luck, Pisces. Oh, and okay. Jupiter is in your ninth house, Pisces, right? Jupiter's in Capricorn. Actually, it's moving into Aquarius March 21st until like July. Then it retrogrades back into Capricorn at the end of December. And then it goes into Aquarius for two and a half more years. Okay. At any rate, right now until the 21st, it's been in your ninth house of spirituality, of religion, of higher learning, right? So anything's of travel. So anything surrounding that right now, Pisces, is going to bring you luck. Like if you buy a lottery ticket, like buy it in another state. Buy it, travel somewhere and go buy <laughs> go buy a ticket. Like that's, you know, that's what I'm feeling is lucky. When it goes into Aquarius, into the 10th house, 
then that's your 10th house of career. So your career is really going to take off. Um, you're going to see a little taste of it from now until July, beginning taste of it, but then it all depends on what degree Saturn is in, um, in your chart. Okay, check the degrees. So you're going to get a little taste of that for some of you. And then you're going to really see your career take off. Sorry, not Saturn, Jupiter. You're going to really see your um, career take off. Yeah, it was Jupiter that's in your ninth house. Oh, my God. I was just talking to somebody about Saturn. That's why I said that. I'm sorry. No, Saturn's in Capricorn. Well, Jupiter's in Capricorn, too. So, but it's Saturn that's going retrograde. And Saturn is the task. The, the it's like the grandfather, the strict father, the strict grandfather, where you have many lessons to learn in that area of your chart. But if you work hard and you learn the lessons, the rewards are tremendous when Saturn leaves that house. Like you will reap the rewards. And some of you, well, all of us will begin to see these rewards from the end of March until July. We're going to get a taste of that. So get ready. Hopefully, everybody's learned their lesson, right? All right, Pisces, I hope that made sense to you. I hope you resonated with this. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. And again, if you want a personal reading, my Etsy link is right down below in the description box. You have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.